we welcome Mike Jenkins to the studio with us. And last time you were here, Mike, we were talking a little bit about credit reports and uh, the easier ways to obtain a credit report. And you helped out a lot of people. That was pretty cool. But now we're going to be talking about what do you do once you get this thing? Right. If uh, last time you actually went online and got your free credit reports, um, if you would have sent in for them, by about now, you probably could have gotten them in the mail. So uh, you could be opening them up and we could be talking about now, how do we read those things? There's a lot of information in them and uh, a lot of people don't really know what all this stuff means. I mean, there's just a lot of things about debts that people have paid. And I like to tell my clients when they come in, it's really a history book. So sometimes people think it's only the bad stuff that's in there. My, I gotta check my credit report, see what kind of bad stuff is lurking. Right. And it's not, it's a, it's a history, just like in U.S. history, the book contains the good stuff as well as the bad stuff. Oh, okay. And how far back does it go? Generally, um, it'll contain information for seven years, so once something's reported on there, then after seven years goes by, they drop that item. If you look at your credit report, it'll say when this item's got been reported. And so after seven years, that particular item drops off because they're pretty long, the credit reports, but if they didn't restrict them to seven years, they would really be long. Right. Yeah, like and phone so, books. Yeah. Or worse. And so they have to have some kind of cutoff point. And I suppose it determines, there's a matter of relevance after so many years, you know, how relevant is this information about the person? Right. So they restrict that. And there's other information that stays longer. Um, bankruptcies, uh, Chapter 7 stay on for seven, or 10 years. Mm -hmm. And Chapter 13 bankruptcies stay on for seven. But all the other stuff eventually drops off. And uh, over time, a person's credit can get cleaned up just by the passage of time sometimes, even though they didn't pay their bills. Oh. But uh, it's a really good tool for people to uh, you know, figure out what they've got for debts if they haven't really been keeping good track. And um, the problem is they don't really give you a lot of uh, instruction on how, what all the different terms mean and you know, the, how important things are. Okay, for example, charge off. What's a charge off? Well, um, I'll sometimes tell people, hey, you need to bring your credit report and then we'll kind of see what your situation's like. And so they go, yeah, I got my credit report and it looks pretty good. Uh, most of this stuff's been charged off, so uh, it doesn't look like I have very much debt anymore. <laughs> and I go, no, it's not really like that. I mean, these charge offs are really the worst thing you can have reported oh, on your credit are. report. They're about the worst. Um, what does that mean? When a bank or a lending institution or a credit card company, which is in essence a bank, uh, have classified your debt as a charge-off, they've pretty much thrown up their hands and go, okay, we give up. Uh, we're, we're, it has to be moved from a performing uh, payment or debt history to now it's unperforming. Uh, so we're just uh, sort of writing it off as bad debt, not in the sense that they're forgiving it. Uh, it's just that they aren't counting on that money any longer. They don't and, expect to see it? Right. Right. Now it's getting put on the bad side of the balance sheet at the bank and, uh, on unperforming debts. And so it's the worst classification, I believe, you can have on your credit report. Mm. And so it's not forgiven. Uh, when it's charged off, that means not only do you owe it, but uh, it's bad. And usually those are sent out to collections. And in this day and age, most of the debts that get charged off eventually get sold. What and does that mean? So on your credit report, you will see remarks that say charged off, then transferred with a slash sold, and a big zero as far as the balance. Oh, it's not so much, that's how much you owe, right? So yeah, it's not, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, happy days are here again, I don't owe that debt anymore. It's that they don't, the debt's not owed to the Capital One or to Discover card. Uh, they've sold it as an investment to companies that buy these things uh, in portfolios, they'll buy I don't know, hundreds of thousands really? of dollars worth Why of this debt. Why would they do something like that? For pennies on the dollar. And then they can collect the whole thing if it's collectible. Wow. And so it's almost an, a new, it's a big industry out there. Companies are springing up all the time to purchase these debts. And the time from, let's say, default to the time it's sold seems to have gotten shorter and shorter over the last 10 years. And I think most of these companies have arisen. And um, so when it used to be, they'd be really, really stale when they'd buy them. Now uh, we see them charge off sometimes, I think, six, seven months after no payments. Wow. Uh, sometimes we're seeing those things sold. And so then these companies, a lot of the big ones, they report to your credit 
reports and on the credit bureaus. And so we see a lot of these big companies. LVNV funding, Midland funding are really big and they report to the credit bureaus. Portfolio recovery is another really big one. And so you'll see them uh, show that they acquired the debt and it'll reference back the original credit card company that they acquired it from. Uh, we're seeing a lot of cell phone accounts are getting sold. It's amazing how many people we see that have three and four cell phone accounts that they haven't paid with all these different cell phone providers. Wow. And they're not just like 100 or $200, they're like $700 bills. And so uh, those and are And I imagine big. those people, it's probably worse because they just start hammering on you because they want the money. They want to make a profit, right? Right. And, uh, you know, and they don't even really have a lot of skin in the game. I mean, they bought these for pennies on the dollar, and they're the toughest collectors uh, of them all. And so they put on a lot of pressure. It's and quite, Because uh, it's a lot of profit for them. Sure. Yeah. And uh, the thing is, a lot of these companies don't report to the credit report. So, you know, it, you see one of your old credit cards on there with a zero balance now, and it was just sold, and you don't know, you can't track it on your credit report as you look through it. So it's not a new one isn't going to pop up it, saying new one we're now going to come after Exactly. You. So that's a problem. Oh. So when we're preparing people's cases and we're using their credit reports, we're going, you need to call your credit card company that sold it because the people they sold it to aren't reporting on your credit. We need to find out who's got it. Right. Because when we're doing your bankruptcy, we need them listed you need so it goes away. Yeah. And so they have to make phone calls and say, hey, who did you sell my account to? Right. And they'll be told so and so. And, and so they'll they give call them that them up. information. Yeah. And okay. they'll call them up and say, yeah, we've got it, and this is our address. Now, sometimes, this sounds really crazy, those debts get resold to other debt buyers. Oh, so it's 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 Very crazy. complicated. That's why we need somebody like you that can wow. sort these things out. This is how you get a hold of And Mike. that's just one verbiage that's one. that we covered. Yeah. Uh, there it is, <laughs> iowa-bankruptcylaw.com oh for more information. Uh, he's over on 2nd Avenue, Suite 103, 255. Rest of the number? 1855. Just quizzing you to make sure you know it. Okay. <laughs> it's early in the morning. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, just go over and he'll give you some assistance. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Thank Interesting. You.